So the first presentation will be on the theme of lockdowns themselves and will be given by Wellington Oyibo, who is a tropical disease specialist, a professor and consultant, a medical parasitologist at the College of Medicine of the University of Lagos in Nigeria. He has also worked at the Faculty of Medicine as assistant professor at Addis Ababa University in Ethiopia and is director of the Center for Transdisciplinary Research in Malaria and Neglected Tropical Diseases, as well as co-director at the Center of Environmental Standards and Social Inclusion of the University of Lagos, Wellington. Thank you very much. So uh, our group looked at um, the effect of lockdown, um, human rights on young and adults, and of course the lessons uh, for the future. Uh, basically, we reviewed um, these areas uh, in the context of the pandemic. And of course, uh, the deliberations uh, really concluded that the impacts of restrictions, lockdown, on, uh, and of course human rights on young and adults uh, was incalculable, was huge. And specifically, we mentioned uh, the economic deprivation that happened in especially low uh, uh, medium income countries. And then we also highlighted uh, the effects of the lockdown on, on supply chains, especially the international supply chains uh, that cut off supplies, especially health supplies and health products, uh, which were, uh, was useful and critical uh, in patients' management that resulted in access issues. And uh, we looked at loss of businesses and jobs as part of the economic implications um, of, of, of the lockdown. Uh, we also look at the harm costs uh, to children and adults. Um, children who uh, could not go to school, uh, quite unplanned for. And then, of course, uh, the, the, young, the young adults uh, whose future looks so bleak. Uh, this is incalculable, really. Uh, of course, that's, you know, uh, dovetailed to the psychological issues that resulted in me mental health. People did not know when the restrictions will ever end. Uh, and that was uh, very uh, serious. And, and it caused some, raised some fears uh, around what the future will be. And, and this happened quite more in, in the low medium income countries where there were no social benefits and um, uh, communication was poor. Uh, there was social impact as well because people staying at home uh, got idle, uh, incurring bills, and we saw cases of unwanted pregnancies, and uh, of course still related in some cases to uh, due to access um, to family planning um, and tools. Part of what we saw that was even large was even on health services and programs. Uh, our health systems in fairly low, medium, and income countries was already, was already down and weak. And on top of those access to care, uh, during the lockdown, some health facilities were closed. Uh, people didn't know what to do, and uh, the access to even PPEs uh, as a result of the access to health products uh, was a big challenge. Health programs, we saw, of course, during the COVID time, uh, the, the period, uh, deaths and clinical cases to malaria increased. Phenomenally, I mean, it's 12 year record, and, and that was difficult. Health inequities, inequities that we saw, uh, we had the diversion of care uh, to COVID, and that left people with cholera, um, left people with malaria, left people with tuberculosis uh, to be uh, in, in, in bad shape. Uh, human rights issues were there, you know, abuses around that, caution, and then, of course, uh, class systems that developed uh, in those communities. It was difficult, really, to comprehend. Of course, looking at all of these in our group, we, we thought there would have been lessons learned of how the lockdown or restrictions would have been channeled. Um, were there contextualization? We felt if there were contextualization in different geographic spaces and settings and countries, and then risk, it would have been easier uh, for uh, some contextual process to direct the lockdown that we saw. And of course, about the community engagement, opportunities for feedback for communities to provide how things will go was not available, so their voices were not heard. We also reviewed uh, what should really have happened if there were um, opportunities for engagement, political engagement uh, with the people. Uh, with political engagement, highlighting the, very enlightened and from the debates, including the disadvantaged groups, then their voices would have been heard, and then would have seen some level of uh, very contextual application of what ordinarily should have uh, brought about safety. The respect for individuals, I think, should be inclusive, uh, would have been inclusive if uh, we were trying to implement lockdown. Of course, chief of all, uh, apart from all of these, was uh, the needs for countries 
in low medium income countries to be able to start developing their infrastructure, manufacturing infrastructure, um, to be able to get them ready uh, um, in producing essential commodities and products. So that should there be any justified lockdown, and then the, the loss will not be collateral.